Hello everyone, John here once again. It is April 6, 2022, and we're back from their daily Nerdle. As always, if you know this puzzle yourself, of course, the answer for you, free or free or pause the video and go to nerdlegame.com. That link is in the video description below. If you like this content, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help me a lot. But for now, let's get into today's puzzle. 3 times 4 plus 0 equals 12. All right, multiplication again. Not a uh, not a two-digit number, so we can have uh, uh, one digit times two equals a three-digit number. Or uh, one digit times an one or two digit minus one or two equals a single digit. Let's test the triple digit answer first. Um, and this might have to be rather high if we don't have a one, a two, or a zero. The smallest this answer could be if it was three digits. Oops, I wanted that to be multiplication as well. Sorry, that. That's what I wanted to type. Equals 333. That is the smallest that we can make over here. So. Do we think this is a likely scenario? It's certainly possible. Let's do something like... Five times sixty-three equals three thirty-three. Uh, that's not actually the answer. I just wanted to type that in real fast. So three times five would be fifteen. We can't do that. Uh, smallest we could do would be seven, which would be three thirty-five. Where does that leave us? Okay, it leaves us with some more digits. Luckily, we found a double. That's fantastic. But we have a single digit number as the answer. Uh, can't start with a 3 or a 5. Let's test that 7 for no apparent reason. 7 times... I'm just going to fill this in. Equals that. Okay. 7 times... Let's test the 5. Minus... That'll be 35. Let's actually test a double 7. Why don't we do that? 7 times... Oh, we can't do 6. Minus 33. So that'll be 35. Minus 33 would be 2. We can't do that because we don't have a 2. Um, 7 times 7 minus 33 that would be 49 minus 33, too big I don't really know why I'm stuck on the 33 being here, it's not possible let's do minus a 35 going here we don't have a 0 so 7 times 6 we can't do. Need to work on this methodically. I kind of just put that 7 in and I'm operating under the assumption that's how it works. Um, Oh, actually doing subtraction there, not anything else. Um, guessing this is probably going to be multiplication of two two, two single digit numbers minus a two digit equals a single digit here. Fairly certain that is going to be true. Now, this seven is the lowest this can be. Five, let's see, if we do a three, we don't have a two or a one. 
So we are going to end up negative with the smallest number here being 33. This would leave us negative. So uh, moving this up, this would work. We end with 2. We can't do that, however. Uh, 35 minus, yeah, again, that's going to be the smallest we can do. So if we move this up to a 7, that is the next smallest we can do, um, we're going to end up, can't subtract out in the 30s, because 7 times 7 is 49. There's nothing we can do in the 30s uh, to get back to a single digit. We'd have to be at least minus 40. So we keep going up 7 times 8. This is all assuming this is going to be a 7, once again. So if we get up to 7 times 9, none of this is possible. We can actually increase this to seven times uh, 8 times something, um, leaving us with just two options left. We can go here, limiting our uh, selection of equations by about a third. So that'll be nice. Okay, back to it. 56 minus... The lowest we can do is 33 here would leave us in the 20s. Can't do that. We'd need to go up to, how about this, 53 equals 3. That works. Okay, we are certainly on the right track here. We just don't have them in the right order. So... 8 has to be 8 now, doesn't it? Times 5 minus 37 is indeed 3. And there we go. Just kind of a slow grind towards the answer. Very fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone you think would enjoy some daily math puzzles. That's all for now, and we'll see you all tomorrow.